On behalf of everyone in Transition Bellingen, I'd like to welcome you to the Visioning Fair. Um, my most uh, important task this afternoon is to welcome our honoured guest, uh, Auntie Bee Belangari, who is a local Indigenous elder. Downs or yarn ups would take however long it takes and would be inclusive of all who could add their individuality. No project in my growing years needed money to develop. I acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional owners of this land where we gather today in Naimgudrum to share visions for a sustainable future. I acknowledge elders of the future because of how they will lead us into a positive, self-determined, interactive, confident tomorrow. Because in my position at Council I've had an opportunity to be involved with a number of community groups meetings and I remember attending one Transition Bellingen meeting with I was very, very impressed and was just stoked to see that the vision of the Bellingen Transition Group came to fruition. And this fair is also another embodiment of that vision. And I'm really excited to be involved in that. I know that Council is keen to be involved in the activities of Transition and keen to work together. And I really look forward to working together with a group that not only has big, big, big visions, but also creates big actions to back it up. Thank you. The main thing that has struck me is the amazing um, support that has come from all directions. And like there's been people working on this for weeks, really intensively. And then so many people showed up in the last few days. And more people showed up this morning and just throughout the day. There's just something very, very special about all the combined energy. Hope people are still here now, and it's rained a lot today. And that's real resilience. There's every good reason to go, oh, I'm going home, but people, you know, hung around. The cafe has got very much the role of a pollination process, where lots of ideas get mixed up. And the idea was uh, to look at what we want to, to look creatively and artistically at all the things we want to refuse um, of the way we live in, uh, the things that we want to recover that used to be done in the past and, um, and we want to bring back. Um, everything that we really cherish, that we already have and we want to continue and um, how we want to create our future, the things we want to create, the new things that we need to bring in. Um, and I think from that we want to strengthen all these resources that we already have to create a much more resilient society, so a resilient society that can, can adapt to change, the change that is definitely coming. We are experiencing crisis at so many levels and, and um, in a way bringing together a, a joyful, celebratory, um, community-minded event to, to prepare and to give us inspiration and connectedness so that then we can take steps, active, concrete steps. Uh, and in fact the plan is for this to be in a way a seed for what we're doing next year. It, there's so much energy here today, there's so many different things that are going on, there's so much creativity and vision in, in this town that I, I really believe that if we, we can be a, a leading light, this area can be a leading light to, to show what a sustainable, thank you Darren, to show what a sustainable future really can be, we, we can do it here. It's a very great place to live and we have so many skills, so many tools, so many resources, so many great people and a fantastic community. So we, we start in a very strong place, uh, but there's many steps that we need to take to address uh, transport, housing, uh, the way we get our food, the, you know, everything, everything, and education. You really think we can do it? We can have this transition into the next age? I personally have a vision that we can, and in a way the funny, the, the, the new thing about how we work in transition is that we don't really know what we're doing, we are creating it all together. It's an emergent process that we create together, and um, I guess I, I really do trust this way of working. So I, I think we can, I do. If you've got one of the visions in the box, um, do it and act upon it and, and make sure you get other people to help you and have fun.